Okay, andito tayo ngayon sa laboratory para pag-aralan ang Bunsen burner. This is an example of a Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner is the primary source of heat in the laboratory. So if we boil some water or heat some objects in the laboratory, yung ginagamit natin, Bunsen burner. Okay? So let us try to discuss the parts and some uses of the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner have several parts. Una, meron tayong tinatawag na base. Ito yung base ng Bunsen burner. And then, meron tayong tinatawag na gas inlet. Ito yung gas inlet ng ating Bunsen burner. Kaya yan tinawag na, na gas inlet sapagkat dito pumapasok yung fuel. Okay? Yung fuel nang gagaling yan sa ating fuel outlet. Ito yung ating fuel outlet. Okay? So, kung aalisin ko itong rubber tubing natin, okay, yan yung ating uh, fuel outlet. Our fuel outlet is colored red. Okay? And our water outlet is colored blue. So, kung mapapansin ninyo yung pipe dun sa likod, ang kulay blue, tubig ang lumalabas dun. Kapag red naman, fuel. Okay? So, dito natin kinoconnect yung ating Bunsen, Bunsen burner through our rubber tubing. Ito yung rubber tubing na pinatawag. So, nilalagay natin yung ating rubber tubing dito sa ating gas outlet na ganyan. Okay? And then, dino double check natin. Okay? Kung mahigpit ang pagkalagay. Okay? So, ito ang ating Bunsen burner. So, meron tayong base kanina. And then, meron tayong gas inlet. And then, ito yung tinatawag na color. Itong iniikot-ikot natin na ganyan. Ito yung color. The color is used to regulate the regulate the it is used to regulate the amount of air that enters the the, the air hole. Ito yung air hole ng ating Bunsen burner. Ito. Okay? The air hole is where oxygen enters the burner. And the color regulates the amount of air that enters the Bunsen burner. Okay? Siya ang nagre-regulate. Okay? So, pag binaba natin yung color, lumiliit yung ating air hole. Okay? Natatakpan yung ating air hole. Kapag tinatas natin yung color, okay, nakikita natin yung air hole. And then, etong part na ito, Ito, this is what you call the barrel. Okay, barrel. The barrel is where fuel and oxygen mixes. And then, etong tip part ng ating Bunsen burner, ito yung tinatawag na nozzle. The nozzle is where the flame can be located. Okay? So, those are the parts of our Bunsen burner. We have the base, we have the gas inlet, we have, the, we have the air hole, we have the color, the barrel, and the nozzle. Okay? So that is the Benson burn. When we produce flame using the Benson burner, sa aming kanina, kinakabit yan sa ating, sa ating gas outlet, and then, Okay, to be safe, tatakpan muna natin yung ating air hole and then ikutin natin etong etong valve ng ating uh, gas outlet. Okay, konti lang. And then siguraduhin na naka-close ang ating air hole. And then kuha tayo ng match. Ito yung match. And then, pagsisindihan natin yung ating gas burner, huwag dito isindi, huwag ganyan. Kasi masusunog ka, mapapasok ka. Pero, pagsisindihan mo, dito lang. Okay? So, dito mo pasindihan. So, buksan mo yung, yung valve. Now, let us try to discuss the two kinds of flames that our Bunsen burner produces. So, meron ako ditong dalawang 
picture, at the right side, makikita mo dito yung luminous flame. And then at the left side, you will see here the non-luminous flame. Sabi natin kanina sa laboratory, kung meron kang luminous flame, ito ay nangyayari kapag hindi kumpleto o kulang ang hangin or oxygen na pumapasok sa ating Bunsen burner. So meron kang fuel na pumapasok pero kulang ang hangin that will burn up or use up all these carbons in the fuel. So ang nangyayari, nakakapag-produce ka ng luminous flame at sa tip ng ating luminous flame, you will see there the unburned carbon or the... So dito sa non-luminous flame, nakakagawa tayo ng non-luminous flame or the bluish flame if there is enough oxygen that enters the Bunsen burner. Paano natin nasa-secure that there is enough oxygen that enters the Bunsen burner? Yun yung silbi ng air holes or the air hole of the Bunsen burner. Kung yung air hole ng Bunsen burner is fully open, then there is enough oxygen that would enter the Bunsen burner that will burn the fuel. Kaya tayo nagkaka, nagkakaroon ng non-luminous flame. Pero kung yung air hole natin is closed or nearly closed, there is no enough oxygen that would enter, enter the, bur the Bunsen burner. So nakakaproduce tayo ng luminous flame. Ibig din sabihin, kung meron kang fully open na air hole, and there is enough oxygen that enters the Bunsen burner, then, nagkakaroon tayo ng complete combustion. Complete kasi lahat ng carbon dun sa fuel are burned up because there is enough oxygen that burns the fuel. Pero kapag ang air hole natin is closed, there is no enough oxygen na papasok that will use up all or burn up all the fuel, then, meron tayong tinatawag na incomplete combustion. Incomplete combustion for luminous flames, complete combustion for non-luminous flames. Meron akong, di meron akong dito sa susunod na slides, a simple illustration of what a complete combustion looks like and an incomplete combustion. So, dito sa illustration na ito, gumamit siya ng methane. Ang methane, mayroon siyang chemical formula na CH4. Ibig sabihin ng CH4, sa bawat isang carbon, mayroon siyang apat na hydrogen. That's a methane. So, kapag susunugin natin yung methane, nangangailangan tayo ng oxygen. Oxygen is our, or the, the main component of the, the air that is used to burn the methane. So, sa bawat isang methane, nangangailangan siya ng dalawang oxygen. Since this is a complete combustion, mapapansin mo dito sa equation, na kapag lahat ng methane na ito ay nasunog, magkakaroon ka ng dalawang product. Meron kang carbon dioxide at saka water. So, kapag complete combustion, ang product, carbon dioxide, water. Isang methane, dalawang oxygen, makakapag-produce ng isang carbon dioxide at dalawang molecules of water. That's complete combustion. Kapag mayroon ka namang incomplete combustion, same chemical, mayroon tayong methane, of course, to burn methane, nangangailangan tayo ng oxygen. Since kulang ang oxygen to burn our methane, ang napuproduce na product is carbon monoxide, water, and mapapansin mo dito, mayroon kang carbon. Etong carbon na ito, ito yung tinatawag natin na unburned carbon or yung soot na sinasabi natin. So kapag incomplete combustion, ang napuproduce na products are carbon monoxide, water, 
and unburned carbon or the soot. So, itong complete combustion ang nagbibigay ng non-luminous flame. Itong incomplete combustion siya ang nagbibigay ng luminous flame because of the presence of the unburned carbon or the soot. So, this is an illustration again of the two kinds of flames. For A, meron kang luminous flame and for B, you have the non-luminous flame. Both have four same regions. They both have the outer region and then for an, a luminous flame, you have the yellow region. Dito sa yellow region nangyayari yung incomplete combustion or incomplete burning. And below the yellow region, you will have the colorless region where combustion does not occur. Kasi dito, purely gas ang makikita. And at the sides of the flame, makakita ka dito ng blue region where complete combustions occur. Pero kung mapapansin mo, napaka-kunti ang complete combustion dito as compared to the incomplete combustion. While for a non-luminous flame, you have also the outer region and then the purple and bluish region where the purple region is the hottest part of the flame and below the bluish region, makakita ka dun ng colorless region. Okay? So, you have the outer region, the purple region, the blue region, and the, the colorless region where unburned gas are found. So, these are the two kinds of flames that the Bunsen burner produces. I hope that you have learned a lot of things uh, for our activities today. Thank you very much.